Hey Pisces, how are you guys doing? This is Ashley from Serendipity Tarot, and this is your general tarot reading for the later half of February 2024 for my Pisces folks out there. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So here's the deal. You could be a Pisces, your person could be a Pisces. Feel free to switch the roles. Cross watchers are welcomed here. Um, this is love, right? This is all about love, romance, and partnership. Um, that's what I do. Pisces, if you enjoy these readings, please do consider liking, sharing, subscribing. If you want a personal read for yourself, you certainly could request one at the link below. Go to my website or even Etsy, okay? I'm going to start off with some Oracle cards today and I'm going to get right into your tarot spread. So again, Pisces. What's going on my Pisces out there? What do they need to know? Love, romance, partnership, please. Compromise, making changes. So there could be someone that you're connected to, Pisces, who wants to like, let's meet in the middle, right? Let's come together and talk things through. Let's compromise. Um, I almost feel like someone may have been stubborn before and unwilling to budge. And there could be something here where they're now saying, you know what? I'm willing to meet you halfway on this, right? Someone may feel like, you know what? I don't want to lose you. So I'm willing to do a little bit more, extend myself, be a little bit more flexible, Maybe even consider your point of view. Someone is willing to make changes. Okay. Um, we also have, ooh, dating, meeting someone new. So some of you guys are on the prowl, right? You're meeting new people. Maybe you're on an online dating site, Tinder, OkCupid, okay, whatever. <laughs> And I'm feeling like there's someone here you're going to meet finally. I'm getting jackpot, okay? Um, so this could be a time when you're dating. Maybe they're going on a really hot date during Valentine's Day. Very, very possible. <laughs> um, but there's someone else that could be coming in your life. I'm feeling the energy of like someone you never met before. Someone that... Um, I'm feeling they're going to make you smile. They're going to make you happy. So we're going to see. I'm getting a very good energy, okay? A new energy, and then we have him, the divine masculine. So some of you guys, you are the divine feminine and you are attracting your divine masculine. Maybe this person, this new person you're meeting is um, your counterpart, your divine counterpart, right? So let's take a look. We're going to see where this uh, reading is going. Okay. I'm reading for a lot of you guys. So take it how it resonates and leave the rest. I almost feel like some of you guys, you have two people. It could be someone from the past who wants to like compromise now. Now that you're meeting other people, now that there's someone else that has interest in you, Pisces. Someone could be like, you know what, Pisces, I, I kind of want you back. I want to compromise on this, right? So I don't want to lose you. Give me the recent past for Pisces. Ten of Pentacles in verse. For some of you guys, this is a marriage. This is a home. Maybe you lived with someone in the past and then something like fell apart. Yeah, this is a family unit, perhaps. Ten of Cups and a Temperance. So I feel like there was a situation here that kind of took you by surprise. I'm just seeing a lot of unhappiness, a lack of fulfillment, okay? Someone was taking away, like, your joy, you know? And that Ten of Pentacles in verse, maybe you've really worked hard to build something with this person, and it feels like it all kind of collapsed. Now, what it's telling me with the temperance, some of you guys, this is a Sagittarius that you're dealing with, it's telling me you had to really be patient with someone. You had to really not lose control right there's someone that may have stepped out of a marriage for some of you guys that may have left the home there could have been a family that was hurt and broken and what it's telling me pisces is that you had to like keep your composure you had to like not lose sense of self and control yourself okay so give me the energy right now for pisces two of pentacles magician gemini energy in the world there is something or someone that you could be going back to Pisces. Um, the world in the verse could be unfinished business. Maybe something has been left unresolved. Maybe someone kind of, again, left the home and didn't really care to deal with an issue. And I feel like it never got dealt with. There's something here where, and I feel like the two pentacles, it feels to me like 
something here was very demanding. It may have felt like you were responsible for kind of keeping things afloat. Uh, you know, you may have dropped this connection recently because it was just too much to deal with. You know, you may have felt like you were pouring everything, your time, your energy, your effort with the pentacles into a situation that just wasn't working for you or manifesting, okay? It just feels to me like some of you got to a point where something was exhausting. It was creating some kind of disharmony in your life or imbalance, right? Two pentacles. So there's something you could have had to drop because it just wasn't working for you anymore, okay? The magician universe is like, it's something just isn't coming together. So this could be a Gemini, but I really feel the world universe is like some kind of unresolved, unfinished business. So maybe you left something or didn't have any expectations for this person to come back and then here they are, they appear at your doorstep, right? So give me the energy of whoever you are connecting to King of Cups in reverse, that could be your energy. Seven of Swords, the Chariot, Cancer, Ten of Swords. Yeah, I almost feel like this is someone that has um, really did something that really hurt you. I'm seeing tricked you, lied, deceived you. Seven of Swords could have went behind your back and betrayed you. You know, this could have been lying, cheating for sure. And I almost feel like someone is now trying to work things through strategizing on how they can have that victory with you someone here wants to achieve something so i feel like this person hasn't moved on i do feel like there was a really difficult tumultuous ending ten of swords that kind of left you both kind of feeling like well that's it right we're <laughs> it's over and done with but i don't feel like that's the case because the world in a verse is right here in your current energy and i feel like this is someone here that is trying to work on regaining your trust if they deceived you or hurt you lied cheated went behind your back seven of swords right because the ten of swords you both hit rock bottom something here just isn't not going to be easy it's not going to be easy to overcome or move past that ten of swords energy so you know and a lot of you guys the king of cups in the verse is your energy pisces so you may feel turned off you may feel like you shouldn't give your person or this particular person access to you anymore emotionally you've been hurt before and you're kind of at a point where you're closed off some of you guys you feel the need to protect yourself by removing your emotions and feelings off the table so that's what i'm seeing here as far as the outcome eight of wands in the verse six of wands <laughs> Yeah, seven of pentacles in a verse. Um, I'm laughing because there's a lot of delays coming in and it feels like someone is really trying. Someone really wants your attention. Pisces, this could be a fire sign, Leo Sagittarius. Someone is like, hey, look at me. I want to be seen. Pisces, um, you're my person. They want your attention. They're kind of, I'm feeling the energy of like someone waving and you're just like not seeing them. <laughs> So someone wants your attention coming in and it feels like they want this victory with you. They want this opportunity to be successful, to overcome. And you're you're just kind of like, I don't know if this is worth investing in anymore. Some of you guys, you really feel like it just would not be a good investment for you. Okay. It's like, I've been there and done that. Seven of Pentacles. I put my time and energy into it and nothing came of it. So there's a lot of delays. I feel like someone really wants to move things forward, but it's just not happening the way they want it to. Um, especially Pisces, if you're not open to communicating with someone anymore, there's just a lot of just stuck energy here, unfortunately. And I think um, it's unfortunate more for this person. I think Pisces, you're kind of at a point where you're like maybe checked out for some of you guys, especially if you're kind of still recovering from some kind of really disaster or ending that really took you by surprise. So I almost feel like this is him. You're the divine masculine who wants attention. They want to be seen now. Um, and some of you guys, you're kind of like, you know what? I'm not going to be responding to you because some of you guys are meeting someone new, right? There could be literally someone new that comes in and you're kind of like, you know what? I'm not really focusing on that person from the past anymore. And that could literally be it, okay? Someone wants to make things up, compromise, meet halfway, okay? Return from the past with the world in reverse, and I just feel like you guys are slow to accept that offer. So let's take a look at the recent past. Temperance, yeah. Yeah, the hermit. Some of you guys, you needed a break from this person. I mean, the hermit is telling me that something could have been very exhausting. It could have really wiped you out. It could have been to a point where someone um, pushed you down to a spiritual path, right? You went through a spiritual awakening. A lot of you guys, you are... You've gone through some kind of, I want to say, 
phase in your life or experience that has put you on a path to where you are you see things differently because a hermit you're coming into awareness about something after a lot of time by yourself solo deep thinking introspection some of you guys are dealing with a virgo and there it is the hangman reverse pisces that's you you're seeing you're seeing life differently you're seeing love differently right you may just look at everything just from a different perspective and different pair of lens because of that hangman and it's because of what you've gone through the ten of pentacles and the ten of cups something regarding your family your home a commitment or some kind of long-standing relationship that you were in okay give me the world the magician and the two pentacles so there's a break there's a separation some of you guys it could be a divorce could be anything but the four of swords is telling me that some of you guys you just want peace of mind you know you're at a point where maybe you just want things to kind of slow down and with this card it's like it's okay to be on your own it's okay to kind of just like for, for you to be able to take a deep breath and not expect things to kind of like move so there's an energy of i am um, on a break resting regrouping recovering yeah healing that's the recovery energy some of you guys you've gone through such a difficult painstaking heartbreaking situation that you kind of just want to be on your own you're kind of like wanting to disconnect from people um or maybe a particular person who you feel is a trickster magician in reverse maybe you feel like they've deceived you and you want no parts <laughs> so yeah three pentacles could be you know the energy of just not feeling like you and this person are on the same page so two pentacles in reverse some of you guys are dropping a connection entirely um because that three of pentacles is like, I just don't see eye to eye. I don't get this person. We just we just don't get along. So a lot of healing and recovery taking place right now. And I feel like that is definitely attracting your person to want to come back to make things up to you. Give me the king of cups and a seven of swords. Six of cups. Yeah. Whoever you're dealing with, Pisces, I, I'm feeling someone from the past while you're trying to like move on and better yourself and you're going through some kind of like spiritual awakening, going down a spiritual path. Someone is kind of like tugging on your energy and it feels like there's someone who feels like I missed out on an opportunity I could have had with Pisces. And I feel like this is someone who really disappointed you, let you down. Ace of Wands in reverse promised you the world and delivered nothing, right? Zilch, okay? And this is someone with the Six of Cups who may certainly want to come back in your life and reconcile. They want to maybe like regain their position in, their, in your life. They want an active role. They miss you. And I think the Six of Cups is really highlighting that they know what they did wrong. They know they hurt you and um, deceived you. And so there's an energy of like, I missed out. I... <laughs> I really messed up. Chariot and the Ten of Swords. Yeah, Eight of Cups in a verse. There it is. Some of you guys, Four of Wands is here. So this could be your Twin Flame. You know, I do a Twin Flame energies um, on my Twin Flame channel. So check that out. Four of Wands is telling me that someone is kind of like, I want opportunity to come together, you know, with Pisces. I believe we belong together. Family, home, unit, right? Children, all that. And I really feel the energy of Eight of Cups in verse. If this is someone that walked away, they're certainly feeling like, well, maybe I can return back. Maybe there's an opportunity. Maybe there's a door that has been left open where I can walk right back into Pisces' life. So someone is wanting to make their grand appearance again. Um, and they feel like if they were to do it this time, it would work out. It would be great. It would be victorious. They'd be able to win you over um, or, or have some kind of success, okay? Now, why is the Eight of Wands in reverse? Okay, well, <laughs> Pisces, some of you guys are leaving someone out in the cold, which can be explaining why there's a lot of delays and things moving forward. So your person is like, hey, look at me, Pisces. I want your attention. Um, I want to be seen. I'm willing to do tricks for you, <laughs> jump backwards and so forth. But a lot of you are kind of at a point where you may not feel this person is worth the investment. Simple fact, you know, for, you know, because of how they treat you. And so... Five of Pentacles could be the energy of not feeling like you need to entertain someone, leaving them out in the cold, uh, neglecting, abandoning them to some degree, or at least that's how they feel. Yeah, they feel pushed away. Okay, four cups. Missed opportunity. There's a lot of regret, a lot of sadness and disappointment someone feels. Um, but they know what they did wrong. And I think that's what's really, really making them feel disappointed and shame, right? Because they know what they did. They know they had a part in all this. So I definitely feel that Four Cups is your person's energy, Pisces, a lot of sadness, and knowing that it's just not going to be that easy for them to regain um, some kind of 
traction back in your life, right? To come back in in some way. So I really feel like a lot of you guys, this is your divine masculine, okay? Their energy for sure, who wants to compromise and make that change, right? Pisces, that is what I'm seeing. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll check you guys out soon. All right, take care. Bye.